I tend to believe that uh, you know we need to be uh, as connected as humans as we can, but also as optimistic as we can that humanity can pull together and do things together. But then there are things you can do to reduce the intensity of the dystopia. Okay? And these start with the typical things of becoming aware, mm? really understanding that this is a massive disruption, then talking about it, sharing it with others, mm? you know, telling people that oh, I heard that thing and it's quite interesting and discussing it and making your own opinion, by the way, I do not know anything. Anyone who tells you that they know what the future is going to look like is arrogant. Mm. Okay, this is moving so fast. I can only give you indications and directions, okay, general directions, and, and, and hope to be corrected. Right? Because nobody really knows. Mm? But at least you need to be watching the game. Mm? And then you need to talk to your politicians, you need to talk to your government, you need to talk to your, you know, to your congressmen, you need to talk to the society at large. And you may need to make certain decisions. Uh, on top of which, by the way, is, you know, don't invest in an AI or empower an AI that you don't want your daughter to be at the receiving end of. Okay? And it's quite interesting huh? because, you know, there is, uh, if you go to any side of the conflict, they say we're developing autonomous weapons because the enemy is developing autonomous weapons. And you know what happens? Autonomous weapons eventually end up being part of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, f law enforcement, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, forces in, in your city. And then your daughter will have to be apprehended by a, an, an AI uh, um, killing robot. Okay? Whether that's in five years or 10 years or 50 years, does it really make any difference? Mm -hmm. And so the question is, is there an alternative to all of us creating autonomous weapons, which by the way, is not that complex, all of us don't. Rather than all of us create enough nuclear bombs to scare each other, okay, let's agree that none of us creates nuclear bombs. Right. right? Uh, and you know, as, a, as, a, as an individual citizen, I can make those choices. I can make choices that basically say, I will not invest in those things. Even if the returns are enormous, if I put a dollar in that company, it will become $10 in two years' time, your daughter is going to pay the $10. So make a choice that you don't invest in anything unethical. And, and then the, the, the final and most important reason I've been sharing this with the world is, is the theory of what I call raising Superman. Right? You know, you take the fictional story of a superhero that comes from an, uh, from a, a, you know, an alien, uh, and that comes to planet Earth with superpowers, the alien has landed, okay? And its superpower is intelligence, the absolute most valuable superpower in the universe, right? And now the question is, will we raise it to be Superman or will we raise it to be supervillain? And the difference really is the family that adopts it. Are we going to use AI? Are we going to teach AI to protect and serve? Right? Or are we going to use, to use it and teach it to gamble for us and you know, uh, sell for us and, and you know, make us more money? Some people say we can't teach it, that it's going to ultimately optimize and it doesn't care who its father was or what the morals are or what the rails are. In, in many ways, there is reality to that. I mean, there is a very interesting, so you told me about, well, you, know, you asked me about how do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. This has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. About what were the most important things in, you know, that changed since we last uh, met. And one of the most important things is the, is the rise of synthetic data. So, so you, mo most people, you know, we taught AI almost everything we had access to because they read way faster than I do, right? Uh, the thing, however, is that 
I'm now writing, just as an example for people to understand, I'm now writing Alive with Trixie. So 30% of that book is written by an AI, but it's now a book for other AIs to read. Right. Okay? So 30% of what they read is not a human opinion, it's an AI opinion. Th this is massively magnified when it comes to coding. Okay? Probably upward of 70% of the code on GitHub last year was made by an AI. Right? So when new AIs go to GitHub to learn how to code, they learn from code that was written by machines. So that is going to absolutely continue to escalate where most of knowledge is not going to be uh, uh, generated by humans, but it will be generated by machines. Now, having said that, the core, core seed okay, that each of us had as a child is really what drives us forward. And it's not the core seed of knowledge, because believe it or not, Hmm? We do not uh, make decisions based on our intelligence. We make decisions based on our morality as informed by our intelligence. Right. Okay? The example I always give with all due respect is if you take a young lady, raise her in the Middle East, she will wear conservative clothing to fit within the society. That's the moral code of that society. If you raise her in Copa, uh, on the Copacabana beach, she will wear a, a G-string to fit within the society. Okay? And, and, and the difference between Brazil and Saudi doesn't make one more intelligent than, other, th than the other. Okay? The, 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 they are equally intelligent with a, a slightly different moral and traditional com compass. Okay? And so what we want AI to learn is not what we know. What we know is minimum compared to what they're about to know. Okay? It's what we want them to learn is our morality. And that's what parents actually do. Okay? Parents teach their children to say please and thank you. Hmm? They don't teach them all of the different situations where, where, where please and thank you are uh, appropriate. Okay? We, we want to, you know, the, the whole challenge that humanity faced over the years with artificial intelligence, when I say humanity I talk about the geeks because we've been in this debate for 25 years. Right? And the geeks believed at the beginning in something called the control problem, that the way for us to be safe is to control AI. Okay? We gave that up very quickly when we realized that they're going to be a billion times smarter than us. Right. You can't control what's smarter than you. Then we went to uh, the uh, uh, alignment problem. Okay? The alignment pro sorry, the, we went to the safety problem, by the way, which is, you know, at least let's find some switches we can, where we can switch them off uh, when, uh, if things go wrong. Okay? Of course, we can't because they're so entrenched in our global uh, economy that we will never be able to. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the alignment problem, mm -hmm. which is at least let's get them to help us cure cancer, at least let's help them to get us to make more money ethically and so on and so forth, things that are interesting for humanity. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, that struggles with humanity itself knowing what's good for it. Mm -hmm. okay? So align to what? Align to the American benefits or the Chinese benefits, to the general's benefits or the, or the consumer's benefits. right? And, and, and I, I believe that the right answer to AI is, to, is what I call the ethics problem, right? Can we create an AI that is ethical so that when it's placed in a situation in the future, it knows that no child should be killed, right. okay? That any ideological explanation of why a child should be killed is still a no-no. You can talk to my brain for as long as you want. No child on any side of any conflict should be killed. It's as simple as that, right? And once you teach the machine that, hmm, then you trust in intelligence. That once that morality is built, hmm, intelligence will enable that morality to become a reality. And that really is what we need to do as and humans. I believe that's possible. I believe it's possible, I, I believe it's inevitable Again, because I, you know, as I explained, yeah. in, intelligence in its nature is altruistic. It's 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 and it's uh, it's pro-life. Okay, it's pro-abundance. Mm? It's pro, uh, uh, you know, minimum waste, minimum energy consumption. That that is by definition, as as intelligence opposes entropy, that's what intelligence does, right? But, so I believe it's inevitable whether humanity succeeds to do that or not. Eventually, very intelligent people, and I know quite a few of them, hmm, will eventually sit with themselves and say, you know what, I've just made up my mind. Regardless of what a religion has told me or what society has told me or what this or what that, I'm now smart enough to know that 
there's no justification for a child to be killed. But they're people, though. Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger, let's do this.